right, so we're going to start with the bell ringer. So if you will get into Canvas. You can either click on today's activities or modules. Let me get in student view. So modules and today's activities are the same. We just not allowed to change this wording here. Make sure you are, if week three keeps popping up, you can do the little arrow. So here's the stuff from yesterday. I've got the meet recording up on that, and it's two because I'd stopped in between. Uh, we did enzyme notes um, in just a little bit. If you haven't done the video, you can back up and do that video. Um, there's going to be a second video, and then there's an online activity. I'm going to explain the online activity, but you may want to look at the videos before you start that. So let's look at the bell ringer. Remember, you have to click Submit Assignment. All right, and so you might be able to see it a little better on your computer than up here. Uh, when fireflies, or what we call lightning bugs, give off light, a reaction takes place. Is this an example of endothermic or exothermic? Endothermic. Giving off light. Oh. Oh, yeah, exo. Exo. Exo is exit. Something is being released. Light, you know, usually has some heat. Even though when we catch the lightning bug, we don't feel the heat. So you would put number one. Remember these, you have the option to get extra credit points here. You definitely want to do these. Exothermic. Well, I can put that one. Um, what happens to an enzyme during denaturization? So remember I said that's one of the terms you needed yesterday, denaturization. What happens to the enzymes? I gave, I gave the notes back, so you might want to glance at them. What's happening to the enzymes during that? Are they staying the same or is their shape changing? Oh, yeah, yeah. they change into like the sea looking thing. Shape changes. All right, can this be um, reversed? Can it be undone? No. Not um, once in a while, but not uh, um, usually not. So, very rarely it can be, but usually it doesn't. It depends on how great a change it is, I guess. So I would say not usually. And then, um, oh, that was part of number two, not number three. Two answers for number two. And All right, number three. I just can't talk today. Uh, what does the enzyme do in a reaction? Speeds what, it up. Speeds it up by lowering the what? Um, the activation Sight. energy. Sight. Lowers the activation energy, which basically speeds up the reaction. Reaction. And then two things that can affect the rate of reaction. We had several listed, one or two of them. At the end of the notes, what are two things that changes? or increases the rate of reaction. The temperature. All right. pH. Temperature. So. Typically, we're worried with P P temperature, pH. I'm also going to put substrate concentration. You just have to put two. 
and there may have been some others, but those are the three main ones with enzymes. Then you're going to click submit. And we're actually in the activity we're going to do is you're going to review some of these um, concepts right here. You're going to click submit assignment. And before I go any further, I want to remind you that you can always click on grades in Canvas. And it's going to, and this is test student, and you're going to see that test student hasn't been doing very well here. Uh, test student has some things that are late, has some things that um, hasn't been marked missing, but has a little dash here, so that means they haven't done it. Um, if I mark it, it'll say missing, it'll have an automatic zero in it. Um, if it, you submit it, if it's a text box, it'll have a T. If it's um, some other type of submission, it's probably going to be a piece of paper that sits here, so you'll know that it's been submitted. And then the missing will actually change to late. Um, so over here is the num amount of points that you can get. And then if I've graded it, there'll be a number of points right over here. If you have a dash or if you have missing with a zero, it means you have not done it yet. Now, any of the attendance slash bell ringers, um, those can't be made up. So if you have a zero there, it doesn't hurt you because it's worth zero points. That's how I get extra set of points. Um, but any of these other things that have a zero can hurt you, especially any quizzes or tests. Um, the problem I have by looking at your grades here, you can't really click here and find and get to that assignment. So what you have to do is look at the date. So if I wanted to go back to this, well, that's zero points. Say I wanted to go back to this video. Right here, it was due on January 14th. So I'm going to go back to modules, and I'm going to see which module covered the 14th, and that was week two, so I'm going to look in week two, I'm going to find the 14th, and the 14th is right here, and on yours, well, it may not show it, um, sometimes it'll have a little negative sign with a circle around it here showing it's missing. But here are the videos. So I am click on the one that I didn't do and do it. So you're going to have to search by date that you have to come back to modules. That's the only bad thing. If you want to print out of your grade so you can see exactly what you're missing, I can do that for you um, so you can have a hard copy to look at. But it would be good if you can take some time at home and if you don't do anything else, at least do the videos and the quizzes. Quizzes have a little rocket ship on Okay, um, this one is doesn't count as a quiz. Um, well, it's kind of a quiz, but I think I threw it under um, classwork. It was about a demo I'm going to get. We're going to get these new um, labs, online labs, and I demoed one on the 13th when we were on remote learning, and I just threw up a little quiz to make sure you had watched the demo. So to do that one, you have to watch here. So just a little review here, you need to get caught up. After February 12th, you can't make up any of this stuff. So February 12th, I think is two weeks after this. So we'll have week um, five and six up. And then you won't be able to make any of that up once we start into week seven, okay? So you've got to get any missing stuff in, get your grades up. You don't want to see all of it when you come to modules, just click right here. So back to today, um, I want to talk about the activity first, and then I'm going to stop recording. You may want to do the two videos before you do the activity. So here is called enzymatic online activity. So let's look at the directions here. Uh oh, did I put submitting on paper? Okay. So you're going to have to, uh, this is something I'll come back and add. There's nothing to submit here, but here are the directions. You're going to click on this link down here. You're going to um, read all the information. You're going to answer any quiz questions. Um, you can save the game at any point and come back to it. And at the end, you're going to be given a um, 
screen that says you can submit your scores to your teacher, you're going to need my email address, and this is it right here, and the scores are going to come straight to me. But in case you type the email in correctly, you may want to take a screenshot of that score just so it's in your drive so that if it doesn't come to me, we can at least pull it up that way. Okay? So when you click on the activity here, it comes here. We don't worry about any of this other stuff that's around us. We're just right in here. And don't worry about these ads that pop up. So this is going to take us through some um, information about enzymes, the stuff that we had talked about. So um, we don't have a saved game, so you're going to start a new game. And none of you have touch screen, so you're going to say no. Um, no. So you're going to click or tap here to get started. And then you need to read this information because as you go through, it's going to give you some questions. Okay, so, well, not that first one, but you're going to go through what are enzymes. So you're going to go through this activity. At the end, it'll give you some multiple choice questions to answer, and then it'll come back to here, and you'll do specificity and um, experiments. Then there's a quiz that covers all of it, and then it says go to score sheet. So when you go to score sheet, that's where you're going to have to enter your name and my email address so that your scores get to me, okay? So each one of these, um, you click it, 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 you have to click it a second time to go. And so some of them have little games that you'll do. So you're gonna catalyze here. So when you're playing this game, you read through this, so you know what it's talking about, the term metabolism, you keep going okay, and it's showing uh, breaking apart the bonds here, so hydrolysis. It's going to show building, which is dehydration. And it does have music to it. Um, I just have the, the sound off of here. And then you have games. So it tells you to tap or click to choose the appropriate enzyme, um, drag monomers to the enzyme to build, and tap or click the enzyme, and it will break down the polymer. So just to give you an example, you're going to be building. So we're going to need to bring these down quickly because you want him to get across, but you want the snake to not get across. And so you're going to break down it. Um, whoops. No, oh, it didn't work. So I need to move. Oh, I want him. Oh, I want you to move. I don't really want the snake to go across, but okay. And then I break this so the snake goes down. It's keeping score, but it gives you an idea of what the two enzymes do. At some point, you will get an option to move on. All right, so choose an option. I don't care how many times you play it, um, but you need to go to the mini quiz. So you'll read these questions, you'll answer this. When you get done, it takes you back to the main menu. You'll choose the next option. So that's what this activity is. Um, I, like I said, I would suggest that you do the videos first and then do this activity. Um, and I'm not sure, I haven't figured out the full points yet. I've got to see a score report, so I may change that. It's, it may not be worth the full 60 points, it may be less. Um, but that's what we're doing today to review enzymes. I also have up here um, a Quizlet reviewing uh, biomolecules here. There's two little Quizlet, Quizlets here that review some terms uh, because um, tomorrow we're going to take a little quiz on all these biomolecules, so enzymes and um, the other note sheet. So you'll want to, if you don't get to that today, notice it's extra credit. You'll want to get to that tonight before tomorrow. Questions about what we're doing? Kind of change it up a little bit. So I would start with the videos. If you didn't watch the one yesterday, start there and then watch this one and then move on to the online activity.
Questions? No, ma'am. All right. Any questions? Uh, you said no, ma'am, right, Ian? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, if you don't have any questions, um, you can stay on and work or you can sign off. Um, that's fine, but you know, 